What's going on, people? What's going on? Good morning, good morning. What's going on? Who we got out there? another plan out and put it in the tent <coughs> start my next go around the tent number one with the bad plan in it I took the uh, ceiling that I had over there and put it in there this morning and next week I'll put another one in there well hopefully next week if not two weeks from now because I don't think it's gonna be anything quite ready in a week I do got to get more soil uh, some more sunshine number four so I can start potting some more plants. Uh, I'm about to figure out what I can take clones off of and get some more clones going. I took the four clones that I had here and I put them on top of the, the uh, clay balls in the deep water culture next to the cuttings that I got in there to see which one's going to do better. And I eliminate the weaker sources. <coughs> <coughs> Today is six weeks in bloom for tent one and two. Uh, tent one don't really exist no more. I'm just letting that little fucked up uh, sick plant finish out. I almost was about to take it out the tent and put it in a corner somewhere with a with a one one of these lights just to let it finish. What's up, Zan? Good morning. Good morning. Happy to see you. Appreciate you coming. <coughs> I figure, you know, everybody do their segments and lives and shit. I come on early in the morning. Some people up here, you know, sitting up bored, ain't doing nothing. <coughs> uh, I did a video this morning on my dry amendments and nutrients and shit that I'm feeding my plants. Cause I've been watching a couple people that I'm sub to uh, talk about the, what they feed. Hanky Stanky, good morning. <coughs> Appreciate you stopping by. <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> ah, let me tell y'all, I started this live. I am low on cannabis right now. So when I had started the live and set the phone up, I went to go look for some roaches and shit. And I found pretty much over half of a blunt sitting over by my tents. <laughs> I don't even know where this blunt came from. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't no joke. Yeah, I wake up at about 5.30, between 5.30 and 6.30 every morning. Uh, just routinely from taking my daughters to school and such plus working, but I work for myself <coughs> And right now the weather got it so <coughs> The job I'm working on <coughs> Excuse me. I can't finish it the snow and shit clear up because uh, it's like a abandoned building And the back wall was uh, the only one that wasn't brick and it rotted away and decayed and collapsing and I got to close the building up and paint it and so I got the first layer of plywood at the bottom and I got two more layers of plywood to go up the wall. <coughs> it's about 25 feet tall. So I got to frame it and build a wall and I'm stuck at the bottom part of it. I finished one row and I got to rent a boom lift to finish it. And I had to, I rented the boom lift one day, <coughs> but it couldn't get in the fence. <coughs> So I went and cut the fence open and moved tree stumps that was growing into the fence, the chain link, and opened it up so I could get the uh, boom lift in there. And then the weather went to shit. And it's for a funeral home that I have to also uh, remodel the bathroom and the office for. The basement had a water problem and I waterproofed it. And then the room that I waterproofed, they want to build an office in there too. Cause his two brothers is running the funeral home. The dad was pretty much retired, and I'm thinking they all want their own uh, off, but they both want their own office. 
So I'm going to remodel one office and build another office. But I got to finish this job first. And I got work out in uh, the suburbs. I got to do on that residential house. <coughs> but I'm behind. <coughs> so it puts a budget. It puts a hold on my weed budget for growing this stuff. I can't do nothing until I make some more money. I need to get some more soil and a couple other things. As a single father, I can't just go fuck money up. Yeah, well, I'm very mechanically inclined. Uh, my business is one in all services. And I do landscaping, home improvement, and such like that. Pretty much everything you can possibly need, I can do. Uh, the two things that I don't do, and I will uh, verbally say that, is I don't do roofs. <coughs> I'm short as fuck and I'm supposed to be close on the ground and I have never uh, been uh, you know did heat ducts I could put the furnace and hot water tank in but I can't do the duct the duct work but other than that I can pretty much build a house from the footings on up I can put the rebar in the footings I lived in North Carolina for a little while and uh down there I built circuit cities, uh, Mexican restaurants, a Chinese restaurant. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I built on a hospital. <coughs> I built a school. I put an addition on a school. <coughs> <coughs> I did a little bit of everything down south. North Carolina, hell, I made bricks in North Carolina, but I was working for a temporary service down there. Oh, no, I can do windows too. Windows is easy. <coughs> I did landscaping since I was fourteen and I'm forty seven. Uh my friend's dad, well, not my friend's dad, my friend's mom dated a guy and her son owned a landscape business called Environmental Landscaping when I was 14. And me and John worked for Gibb, which was the owner. We worked for them, but that was my first landscape company that I worked for. But even as a kid, like my, all my uncles and shit was lazy as hell. So our grass was outrageously tall, but thick, green, and lush. I grew up in the suburbs. And as a kid coming from elementary school, like walking home from school, I turned the corner and our house was the only house that had fucking two foot tall grass, like the N words. All right. And we lived in an all white neighborhood. And my mind said, man, that don't even look right. We, we sticking out. So I was small. I was real, real small. And uh, I used to cut the grass pushing the middle bar in the middle of the lawnmower and holding the, the bar up top with one hand and pushing it with the, the, my, my left hand on the, the middle bar. My right hand was holding the lawnmower running with the control bar and like pushing it through the grass, but I was beaming our grass out. I'm talking about eight, nine, 10 years old, 11 years old. All, the, the, all through elementary school, junior high school, I took care of our yard. And uh, I grew a passion for the shits. And I, I, I'm saying that because this here represents me being in, in gardening, landscaping, and all that type of shit. And all the things that I learned fertilizer-wise and things like that throughout the experiences of, the, of the, being in that field. When I was a kid, me and my friend Randy, we started growing weed when we was probably about 15, 16 years old. And I ain't no shit, but my mind knew shit that I didn't know shit. I knew shit that I didn't know. Like say for instance, we would grow weed every summer and every summer wherever we was at, we would go in the refrigerator and take everything out that motherfucker and put it in our soil. When I say everything, I'm talking about even mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't know if the mayonnaise had a benefit and probably not because of the oil, but we put eggs, lattice, celery if it was in there, tomatoes. We put every type of vegetable and fruit and shit that was in the refrigerator in the soil. And uh, initiate, uh, uh, we, we fed miracle Grow, and then I eventually stopped using miracle Grow, and I just put compost in, in the soil that I bought that was already soil, and that's what I started growing with. And it's crazy because I, I kind of grow off of that concept now.
Yeah, uh, Hanky Stanky, that's one of my goals, is my family got land in Mississippi, and I'm trying to move down there with my daughter, so I'm a single father, and everybody says it's easier than what the fuck they think it is, but I'm a single father of two little girls, and I'm trying to relocate to Mississippi for a few different reasons, but I want to live off, I want to live in a homestead, and I want to live off the land, but also all my aunts and uncles and shit in Mississippi, well, my aunts and one uncle. I, uh, they're not living that fast. Some of them living okay, but we got land and stuff that they don't know what to do with. And I feel like I can go down there and make money with that land. And on top of that, uh, we was legalized like last year for medical down there and ain't nothing really going on. And that'd be a more of a situation where I can get established and to make something happen with growing weed. And people don't know it, but I done grew in facilities here and I help facilities here. Rather, I help them with their plants, set the grow up, set the lights up, and do all kind of different shit. I'm all over the place. I got a whole different name in the grow industry in Detroit. All right, so in Mississippi, I feel like with my skills and the shit that I can do and the shit that I can learn, I can survive down there and, and help my family out. Well, this thing is in Mississippi, I want to build a, 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 a cob house. I either want to, I want to build a cob house or I want to build an earth house, which pretty much stay the same temperature and shit year round. You know what I'm saying? Where they put tires and shit in the walls. What state you in, uh, I'm Zen? Am I saying that right? And if it ain't legal, it's gonna be legal because every state following suit because they they see the money they missing out on. It's only a few of y'all left, but they missing out on a whole bunch of millions that the other states got leak weed in, and the states is not following. They they jumping on they jumping on ship. Oh yeah, okay, you right up under me. You know I'm in Michigan. And Ohio got it, so y'all get it next. I think Ohio and Illinois got weed now. I'm thinking all surrounding states of you got weed. <laughs> but Indiana kind of weird and different. That's a different state, you know what I'm saying? Even the racism's different in Indiana, so I don't know. I only been there once. And I tell you a story about that. I don't give a fuck about y'all knowing shit. But uh, when I was a kid, I did juvenile time in a place called, oh, I don't know if I should be saying this on the internet. It can start some controversy. Okay, uh, well shit, I'm in Detroit and I'm older. I don't know how old you are, but I'm 47 years old. And uh, I pretty much don't like people. I don't like the activity of the city. Um, I don't, uh, people don't like me, put it that much, put it that way because of, I'm different. And I'd rather be somewhere I can be myself and be comfortable without being judged, looked at, or hated because I, I walk and talk different. Hey, all of them surrounding you got legal weed. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Y'all just in the middle like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> and matter of fact, my old business partner or girl partner, she's got somebody that drives up from Indiana and cop pounds from her. Yeah, that's how I feel too. I'm in. Um, I'm very diverse. First of all, I've been in every type of lifestyle you can possibly imagine, from being in the hood to being around millionaires. 
Um, I worked for millionaires and I had millionaire associates. I can't even say friends because friends really don't exist anymore. Um, I didn't live every lifestyle. My grandma was a millionaire at one certain time period and then she lost everything and my family went through shit behind that. I grew up in a $650,000 house. Right now I'm living in the hood where people get shot at every day. Um, me being in the hood and me being of a, a, like a, a suburban descent. Hold on one second. Yeah. I can't hear you, baby. Give her what? Go ahead. Um, uh, having a suburban descent and uh, history in me, my, how I carry myself, how I act and behave, I'm not uh, accepted in the hood. Uh, the way my mind works and the things I'm able to do, I'm not accepted in the hood. The way my daughters behave and, and act and do, we're not accepted in the hood. Okay, yeah. Um, I knew a couple people before Ohio got legal. They used to come across the Michigan borderlines to hit a dispensary and to get what they get because it was cheaper to do that than they try to buy some bullshit locally. <clears throat> so, yeah, I done lived around and been around to the point that I just want to be away from everybody. Uh, I done had bad experiences with people trying to fuck my girlfriends and everything else, the hatred and the the, the, the uh, deceivement and, and fakeness of people, I done soaked it up enough to the point that I done isolated my life pretty much. Like I don't really fuck with nobody no more. I don't give the people opportunity to affect my life anymore. And the more that I got like that, the more they got mad because I, I, they need me, but I don't need them. Yeah, um, the house that I lived in before this one, and then people would talk crap because I didn't try to elevate my life and because every time I try to change some things and make things better for me and my daughters, somebody would come put a monkey wrench in my situation. They was even firebombing my vehicles and, and busting the windows out of my vehicles and all kind of stuff because the men was getting, uh, uh, I can't even know how to say it. Say for instance, the women around us was talking shit to the men saying how this man doing what he doing and y'all been around here for years and still ain't did shit and the men would get mad and knock me off my square by firebombing my truck or blowing my windows out my truck or doing taking lug nuts off my truck or you know <laughs> they, they sabotage the shit out of me now that i've been here since june the only person i got hating on me is the person i used to work for but other than that, all my neighbors and everybody around me, they appreciate me and like me because how I carry myself and I didn't come to their block and be ignorant and, and trifling. So I'm kind of content here now, but I'm going to have to move again. But when I move, I'm trying to get the fuck about this state. Oh, you female. The hanky stanky, you 54. Y'all both in the 50s. Well, I'm only 46. Y'all make me feel young. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I got seven kids. I got five grown boys, and I got two single. I mean, two daughters. I'm a single father too, and they're 10 and 13 years old. And I want them out of the environments that we in. My daughters are half Arabic, and uh, we live in the hood, like I said. In the schools, so certain girls don't accept them, and they want to be jealous of them, and they want to fight them and pick on them. My my daughters got fight though. And they don't know that till they get fucked up. So in a situation that I don't want them fighting, but I don't let nobody pick on my babies. All my kids are mixed. I'm black, but I have uh, two Arabic baby mamas. I have a Syrian a baby. Well, I have uh, two Arabic baby mamas, an Irish baby mama, and a Greek baby mama. I've been in four relationships my whole life, and they all went to shit, but I was trying to make a family for myself. So now it's just me and my daughters, and I had them for eight years, and then their mom passed away two years ago. I repeat this on my channel because people don't know my background and what's going on with me and who I am. All this shit here, I done went through controversy on YouTube for the last six years because I grow different, and I'm, I live different, and I act different. 
and people try to pick on me or try to judge me or try to tell me how to grow or try to tell me how to do it like how they do it and all that shit. Yeah, I ain't got no grandkids yet, thank goodness, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I only say thank goodness because I'm only 47, which is, I don't feel like that's a proper age to be a grandfather. Um, and the fact that I have five grown boys that ain't went out and made kids. And um, a couple of them would say that they ain't got kids because they seen the shit that I went through. But they still hold a grudge on me for the shit that they think they went through as a child. But they still say that they know I went through hell with my baby mamas, that they ain't in no rush to go through that. I got an Indian in me too. My family in Mississippi got an Indian in them. Irish and Indian. Yeah, I'm trying to imagine that because like I said, I got an Irish kid. I got my, my one of my baby mamas is Irish. I have Indian in me, but my son is, you know, partially Irish, Indian, and black. So, uh, I'm trying to think of what it would look like without the black in it. <laughs> What's up, Piff, baby? How you doing, my baby? Matter of fact, Piff, uh, there you go. I gave you, I gave you the power too, Piff. How you doing this morning, bro? So let me show y'all the buzz. Uh, a couple of y'all already done seen them. Uh, today is uh, six weeks into bloom. <gasps> I hope that didn't crack. Oh, it did. First, I gotta get rid of the mothballs out this here tent. Shit, what happened? Oh, there it go. So uh, I was sitting here this morning looking and I tell everybody that I know that I rushed uh, flipping this into bloom. But I was trying to tell everybody too that I had started this grow up because I was physically going through, mentally going through things and I needed my grow to keep me, you know, sane. So I veg for the time period I could, then I flipped this in a rush because I wanted to see some flowers. Now the only thing I would say is if I would have veg this out a couple of weeks longer, all these nugs would have turned into better tops and would have been better buds. So I'm not tripping about this outcome right now because this is my first time growing in a tent and this is my first time growing an LED. So when it comes down to it, then I looked because all of these was not developed. These was all nodes that was on these limbs that it's going sideways when I flipped. They had to stretch up and develop and grow at the same time. But in the situation that they still got three weeks left, all them buds that wasn't there before I become indecent and there's still a you know a canopy in there of nugs so I know that I should have vanished longer but I wanted some buds now these clones this clone and this clone are all the same age there I got them at the same time I vanished them out and the only difference is that these are a couple weeks behind those that's a seedling over there but me knowing what I know about the veg time, if I would have vegged them out longer, those plants would have looked like these plants are better. And these plants would look better if they would have had another two, a uh, week or two of veg on them. But I'm not tripping. This is my first LED grow, my first tent grow. So, with that said, my buds are still beautiful. I had to learn light distance and all that shit and then I'm not doing no exhaust out the tent so 
temperatures and everything else was a factor. Now, I did a, a video earlier this morning showing what I'm feeding. And I'm feeding all uh, organic nutrients other than one thing. All of it's coming from Home Depot. I was just catching up with everything because there's certain things that I missed on the chat. So, everything I feed this is uh, organic. All these, these been nothing but water for the last two weeks, I think. I, the last water I gave them was like a heavy, heavy, heavy molasses feed. Now it's going to be strictly water for the next three weeks. And you can already see them cannibalizing off themselves. That one's doing it already. This one's starting to change color now and starting to eat off itself. So also I know in the next three weeks, all these little nugs is going to plumping up and do what they do a little bit better. All right. And this one, this one just got to be out cold, out cold. And let me show you. I got to understand I don't have no legs. And when I say legs, that's that that that, that uh, growth when you grow four foot, five foot tall plants, and you take out uh, three feet of the underneath of it to for the canopy to be penetrated. My plants grow from the bottom out. The way I train them, they grow from the bottom up. Now that's a seedling. I was going to put four plants in there, and then I realized I couldn't fit four plants in there. Now this is the thing is, this is week six. This plant is week five. This plant is week four. This plant is week three. And I was going to put a week, another one in after that, but it wasn't going to fit. Like if I had something trained to get in here and there was another one of these, this would have been bunched up and too tight. Morning, KJ. Morning, KJ. It's week six today, KJ. I don't know if they are week eight or week nine plants. I'm hoping I didn't flush too soon. <laughs> no, they ain't came yet. <laughs> twin. <laughs> Where the twins at? Hey, you know what though, KJ, low key, bro. Even with a certain people, I ain't gonna say no names, but I almost think coming to my channel, calming people down to the point that motherfuckers actually talking and gonna work some things out between peoples. Yeah, I've been up since like 5.30, or maybe five o'clock. This one's starting to cannibalize off itself too. Has a lot to grows. Is that did I say that right? <coughs> Morning to you. <coughs> Thanks for stopping by. <coughs> hey, I'm surprised, and I don't know how or didn't nobody say shit, but I had 146 views yesterday, KJ.
Man, I don't give a fuck. I need to figure out how to turn that into the light so this side can uh, hit, uh, get done. They went private again? <coughs> I'm gonna fix that. I don't know why they make them private. I don't put it on private. I don't think, but I'm gonna take it off private. I'm gonna make sure this one ain't private. I don't know why it's private. I wonder if it's private while I'm doing my live. Tell Chronic, well, I guess Chronic can hear me. I can't see him. I've been trying to find your channel so I can unblock you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I give everybody another chance. And I just can't find you yet. I know PKR watching for content, but they ain't getting no content because my content ain't the content that they can talk about. Like, if anybody watch my channel and they try to talk about my channel, they're going to say, well, that motherfucker growing with LED for the first time, intense for the first time, and he's doing pretty goddamn good. You know what I'm saying? I had, I, I, I've been battling thrips. It's people that been battling thrips that kill their whole grow out. And I've been battling thrips and growing and learning at the same time. Like I have to learn distance for LED lights from the plants. And I might even try to go a little closer than this. Because this is like I had it all the way up to the top. All the way most of the grow. And I dropped it down, and I dropped all of them down, and they didn't do anything to the plants. <coughs> <coughs> PKR is plant killer review. They're the pubic hairs off the grow boss's nuts. Oh no, <coughs> the last time I saw them watching me, <coughs> they paused my plants and was talking about something completely different than me. I was complex and confused because you wasn't bashing my grow. You was just standing there for 15, 20 minutes with my shit on pause, talking about something completely different than plants. It was like my shit was like they, uh, they wallpaper on the screen. <coughs> they screensaver. <coughs> The Thieving Boxer in New York. <coughs> Is there any way while I'm doing the live, if I can check to see if it's set as private? It's nine people here and I got one like. So only one person like me. That's fucked up. Oh, GG. Well, you know, almost every time I do a live, GG come up. And I don't know, uh, MZ, I'm Zen, how long you been around. But, you know, GG came and visited me some years ago. When he got kicked off of Pilgrim's Grove, he was supposed to come here. And I had somebody with four acres of land in the backyard. And we were supposed to do a grow. But he came here for uh, Michigan Misfits and was trying to like expose my life and put me on blaze and it backfired on him. And he claimed trying to say he wanted to fight me. If he wouldn't fight me, I would have knocked him out. But we ain't gonna go through all that again today. Just know I done had my taste of Gigi. And then I had people that was behind Gigi like Budsville that was talking shit about me. Had everybody on, in the YouTube community thinking that I stole GG bike that he had in the back seat and sold it for twenty five dollars to crack. It's been a long ordeal of some bullshit. <coughs> now. <coughs> 
with three weeks left, I ain't giving a fuck what y'all thinking. All that shit's gonna blow up and be nice. It's already getting hard. You know, I keep my uh, CO2 generator going. These here. Don't mind the mask. This is all shit that overflowed out of this one because this was too full. But if you can see here, and I showed yesterday, I got mold growing on top of it. Yeah, I know. I had to figure that out on somebody else's uh, live yesterday. I had to figure out where the li where the likes were. What's Chronic's uh, channel name? Nah, this plant here that didn't get vegged out good, it's the same thing as this plant here. That's the same plant with well, same strand, same kind of clone. So if I would have vanished that out a little bit better, it would have been way better. And that's what I say was that week four, week five. That's six, five, no, that's week four. And that's week three. Week three on this one killing the game, though. What's up, Chiba, baby? Hey, Chiba. If I would have killed all my plants, me and you'd be at the same point right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, my dog. <laughs> um, that's why I'm asking what his name is so I can unblock him. But I don't know what his channel name is to find him to unblock him. <laughs> so yeah my next go around this one I'm doing now because I told y'all this plant got fucked up because the CO2 uh, soaked into the smart pot the CO2 generator smoked into the smart Soaked into the smart pot and that motherfucker had pretty much died. But it's got a couple that looks still good. So I'm going to let it finish out. So I put this in there today. And I won't do a perpetual harvest in here after I clean all these nets up. I got the mothballs in here killing more nets. Look at all these damn nets. So I got the mothballs up under that fan right there. Blowing it to the fan, the fan blowing it to the mothballs. Oh shit, I'm dizzy. Hold on. Oh. Oh, shit, that shit was hitting me quick. So yeah, I got that killing the, the gnats that's in there for some reason. When that that uh, CO2 hit the dirt. The mixture of what sugars and shit was in the dirt and that CO2 water. It, oh, yeah, well, the CO2 water was sugar, too. So the gnats went crazy in that motherfucker. So I've been trying to clear that out since. Chronic grows. Okay. Tell him I'm going to un, un, unblock him. If he's toxic, he's going to get blocked again. Well, he hears me. So I'm just saying. Well, you mean it ain't hot for the gnats? 
Well, it's my my tent speed eighty something degrees, eighty five, eighty six degrees when they closed up. This one be ninety, and that's why I had two generators to see a two in there. I don't have no exhaust or nothing. I do a, a, a closed-in environment, pretty much with CO2 uh, fumigating it out so the buds can still grow and develop. But from everything that I did research-wise, uh, LED lights, plants want it in like the 85 degree area so it absorbs the light better because of the ultraviolet differences and shit. Mr. Fucker, good morning, my buddy. Uh, air growing system um, aeroponics well right now you know I just set up a uh, I just set this up the other day and right now I got these clones that's uh from the plant that got the CO2 damage, I brought them in here right now, but I got cuttings that's sitting in here just getting deep water culture. So if the cuttings root, I'm gonna let those run. If they die, then I'm gonna put these down in there and let them run, which these are getting the same feed and everything as the cuttings right now. So I'm gonna let them veg out for a while in here and um, see which one's gonna take off better. If these do take off and these don't, I'm going to switch them out and put those in there. And then I'm going to switch this light out. But right now, this is good for veg. And if I got this, so I set this up because uh, I was going to put in this cubby hole up underneath my front porch. But it was like a walk-in freezer. And the temperature was too cold in there. It would never get cold warm enough for the place to strive or, or even survive. So I set it up like this with a couple two by fours and made a makeshift tent, kind of like what was in my old grill with my first segment of my channel. Then I got a tea brewer here for veg. So once everything in here dries out, I'll uh, hit it with a compost tea. And while I'm in here, I run my charger this time. Um, I'm going to reuse my soil. My soil is all going to be all organic. And like how you can see it's depleting right now with the leaves changing and shit. I'm just going to refer it with the dry amendments. When I come up out of here, I'll show y'all what I got for dry amendments and shit. Which I made a video on this morning. But once everything in here get ready to eat, which these are already thirsty, these two. And I might just take a couple cups out of that and uh, water this, water these. But once everything here get thirsty, because they all about partially dry now, I'm going to hit them with that compost tea. I got a couple more seeds going here, and then I got seeds all in these rock wolves. And then I got all the clones that I already had, plus the Oreos, and I got the Oreo clones that I took off the Oreos. And I'm about to make whatever clones I can off of certain things I'm going to take cuttings off of. Um, you got to change it out, Piff, or maybe you need to dilute it or make it stronger. Yeah, Mr. Fucker, you know, I used to no till into my pools. I had the same pools with the same soil for almost five years until I had to move and they they put my shit in the dumpster. But uh, I had swimming pools with no drainage that I composted in and had worms in it and, and had vegetables growing with it. For five years with the same soil, no drainage, I grew in the pools. That was in my first segment of my grow on this, on this channel. Yeah. And that's the thing I'm going to try to do with, even with these two garden planters as you know the, the uh, saying that it gets better every every grow is I'm going to try to improve the soil that I'm making soil because you know that's sunshine number four. So about the time all the humic acid and the, and the uh, fulvic acid all that shit actually builds in that soil it would be more active and more fertile for the, for the plants. 
Then also the deep water culture, I'm going to be brewing teas to put in that. That's going to be organic too. More and more of my shit will get better unless something go wrong in my life. But as long as I can keep shit going the way it is, I'll be able to improve my grow and get my my environment more uh, uh, dialed in and get everything rocking out. Like this here, I, I ain't want the stretch it was giving me when I had it on the floor, so I picked it back up and put it closer back to the light, but then I started training it again. And now this bitch about to be a monster in the solo cup. And everybody is swept down, I don't know how to grow. That's the uh, white runts, and this is a, a wedding cake. I thought it was a uh, Mac One, but it's not. It's a wedding cake, and I had them confused and didn't know because the person who gave me the tags on them they was fucked up. But I know what wedding cake smell like and shit. And that one, the, the three over in the tents are wedding cakes. Oh yeah, I got to man. I, I only thing I'm worried about the KJ is uh, electricity bills. <laughs> and I just went through some shit with that the other day. I thought I was about to shut down again. I thought I was about to be in the dark. It was about to be crucial. So yeah, let me show y'all everything that I got in my feeding regimen. And I show y'all this, and this costs like $9 at Home Depot. And this is my rooting agent for my clones, which y'all can see that I'm cloning. <coughs> Instead of buying a $30, $40, $50, $60, $70 bottle of rooting agent. I gotta finish cleaning up out here. Alright. So. We all know about this right here. Certain people live about this and brag about this and they, I got this, okay. Now, we already talked about this here and it's still the same bag that I originally had. So you gotta imagine out of all the feeding and the living and the plants and how many plants I got, this four pound bag been going for a couple months and it cost $9 at Home Depot. And this is what I use for the bloom mainly now. And then I went and got I went and got this for veg, which is 555. Five, five. This here is a uh, 463, and I use other shit to go with that. But this is 555, five, five, and I use this for veg now with worm casting. And then I also, and uh, this here got kelp in it. Yeah, this got fortified uh, with kelp extract to feed microbes in the, in the soil, which originally I had this which I'm still using this too on both situations because it's 17 versus it's about the five. So, and I heavily use this in bloom because I use this as my, my MK booster in bloom. So I'm using that in veg. I got this and this is $9, this is $9, this is $9. And I think this is $11 at Home Depot. This is $9 at Family Dollar. My uh, carb load and sugar, so I'm using honey, molasses, and brown sugar. And I use brown sugar because the sugar crystals don't dissolve as quick as everything else in cold water. So when if I say I got that mixed up in the soil, it don't break down and dissolve as quick as uh, uh, molasses or honey would that will run through the system. So that helps to feed the microbes as I would believe. So that's my feeding regimen of what I got going on. And then I got my, my liquid gold too that don't nobody believe in, but that's not apple juice. That's piss. Yeah. So that's my feed. Yeah, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I, my, my bloom, my tents run from uh, 6.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night. 
So it is what it is on that one. Uh, I got my bloom to the point because I wake up at 6.30 uh, for my daughters to go to school and shit. So it's routinely that I wake up and I can take care of the plants. I open up the tents and let them air out in case there's some CO2 in there from yesterday because um, you really, your plants don't want CO2 for the few first minutes of waking up. So I give them fresh air for the first few minutes and let them get some, let them breathe. Then I shake my CO2 generators up and close them up and let them do what they do for a couple hours. Every which way possible, I got things down to a science almost. Only thing is, is I'm up and up how much fertilizer I've been giving the plants. Lately, I've been like tripling the amount that I was applying to the soil for dry amendments and everything else. And that's because I've been watching people put half a cups and cups at a time of dry amendments in a soil. So, and I was doing two or three teaspoons at a time. Now I'm doing two or three handfuls. Like literally I take my hands and take it and scatter it around, take my hands, scatter it around, take my hands, scatter it around. That's why this bag almost gone now. This was four pounds. That shit gone. This right here is six pounds. I just got this like a week ago. I'm gonna show y'all how, how quick that shit ended up going. But my plant's liking it. And then I even got it to the point that when I'm flushing the plants that's in six weeks of bloom, they're, they're, they're cannibalizing off themselves and eating off themselves and doing what the plant's supposed to do, which they do that even if they was outside in organic soil growing natural. Your lights are on 24-7. What's up, Canna Grow Nia? Well, you gotta think about this. With that $17, uh, I mean $17 jug thing, that's uh, about 50 or $60 worth of shit all together for months worth of feed. For months and months worth of feed. Like that absent salt, I, that absent salt would be around for two years. There's no way in hell you ever use this whole bag of absent salt up unless you're growing fucking 4,000 plants when you can only put a little bit at a time in a gallon. That motherfucker ain't going nowhere. I used the shit out of these worm castings. They about halfway gone. This is over halfway gone. This is probably about a pound left. This is new. And this I done had from day one. And it's almost gone because I used this happily. That's why there's mold growing on top of my soil. And boom. That was sugars. If they didn't have them two combinations, they wouldn't be growing mold on top of my, my plant, on top of my soil. When you say you running 24-7, you running 24-7 in bloom or you running it in veg? I run 24-7 in veg because uh, I need it for the heat and shit down here by these brick walls. Because if I turn them lights off at nighttime or anytime, the veg will drop down too far and my plants will stretch trying to get warm. So I don't want that. So I keep the veg 24 hours. Also, I use the top of the T5 lights for my cloner heat. So when I'm making clones, I put the dome on top of the T5s with another light above it so it will heat up the bottom of the dome to heat up the root zone for the plants to root. Oh no, see. And my veg right now, and I ain't have, I ain't ran my humidifiers for two or three days now, cause I, I wanted my plants to dry out a little bit, you know what I'm saying, so that I can get them ready for that tea. 
Right now in here, there is 83 degrees and 15% humidity. So I'm just letting them do what they do for a little while. And then I'm trying to get everything to get ready to get thirsty. So I can saturate them with the tea. Now mind you, when I say saturate with the tea, I don't have no drainage. Only cups that has drainage is the clones that I buy from somebody else if I don't transplant them in something else. But my cups don't have drainage. None of them. And these are bone dry right now. And so when I put that tea in here, I know how heavy to make this cup versus with the fluid in there. And the tea is going to sit there and be in that cup until the plant eats it all or dries it up. So it's going to eat it all. And after I make the tea for here, I'm going to make a tea for the, for the tent number three and tent number one with the new plant. But tent number two with the four plants, I don't give them that, but not the water from this point on. Yeah, once if I, this thing is I got two humidifiers and if I run those, it gets 45 degrees in here. I mean, 45, I mean, 55% uh, in here. And I'm under my basement stairs, so the wood and everything is absorbing moisture. And it's got little leaks and crevices that the moisture get out of. But at 55 is a good humidity, but it's, I just, and for one thing, I don't want to run the power. It's nonstop of humidifying it. And I grew for five years at my old house with 10% humidity the whole time. Yeah, that's the thing is, is we all got our own style and techniques and shit. It's just the average uh, person, like the, the YouTube community, try to tell you you're doing your shit wrong and you're supposed to do it like this and you're supposed to do it like that. I can't tell you how to run your fucking environment, your grow, your shit that you pay for. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do your shit your way. You say it works for you, you ain't changing it. I do my shit for a reason, the way I do it and how I do it, and I'm doing it for me. I, I show people there's a different option, a different way, but you can't make me change my style to grow like you at all ever yeah I, we had snow yesterday it ain't snowing here right now though I wonder if this damn pen ain't tight or something that was a good hit. Yeah, we'll still some more turns left. <coughs> I know I need to transplant those clones. Those clones take it forever to start growing, and they was the re veg and Oreos. And I know that one with my soil is growing. So I think I need to transplant those, but I ain't got nothing to transplant those in. <coughs> This one here and this one here and this one here is all clones off that that seedling intent number three I'm just growing them all just a little bit different that one was suffering and need to be transplanted it, it was real bad and it's starting to come back now those they doing what they do that one I was training 100% like I trained this one I stopped I was didn't do it at first and then I started training it like that and then that one was just always growing different, but then I bro broke one piece off of it, so now it's got to grow back. But those are already, these, all three of these are the same age. <laughs> just to say something. That's crazy now I think about that. This plant, this plant, and this plant are all the same age, came from the same plant, and cloned at the same time. I know that one need to get out that cup. But 
I don't need everything doing the same thing at the same time at the same place anyway. Like, I don't need shit to be overgrown right now when I ain't got nowhere to really put them. But I need one to grow right now, so it'd be the next one to put in tent number one to go with the one that's in there now, which this one's going to be the next one to go. And I'm hoping that that one start vegging out in the next week or two and it go, and it go crazy because revegs grow fast and bushy. So that one should take off and it should be maybe the next one to go. If not, it's going to be this one. But these are the same strand, so I prefer having that one with something different. Now I think about it, I don't have, I couldn't be going private because like with the twins coming here and shit, they wasn't somebody in my chat, in my, on my, you know, subscribers. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know why YouTube puts the shits on uh, private after I do the live though. YouTube fucks with my channel. It's shit that I uh, make videos that it don't upload to my page, but if you search me, it comes up, but it ain't on my page. Like, it ain't where if you go on my home page, you won't see the video, but if you search my name on the search bar, the video or live or short comes up. It's all kind of fucked up. I don't know if I'm if people are really unsubscribing from me. I get subscribers, and I lose two or three every couple of days, and I get four or five, and then I lose two or three again. I don't think nobody hate me that damn bad. I had 666 subscribers three different times. And I tried to get out that number. I ain't like that number. And they came back three different times. I should have played for the lottery, huh? Yeah, but they shouldn't take my subs. And they shouldn't make it so my shit don't go to my channel. Like, they can't fucking dictate my shit. Like, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's be some fucked up shit going on. <coughs> and I know a certain motherfuckers that has got fucking, like, Canuck got a million subs. Canuck is actually surviving. Actually, successfully a, a weed grower on YouTube. He got a million fucking subs. I realize even I know well for one thing to make our uh, content adult it limit it, it limits it limits our, our viewing like say for instance if I've made my deep water culture videos if it had no weed plants in it I didn't restrict it and it got four and five hundred three four hundred views in a couple hours or a few hours <coughs> if it's restricted I get 13 views There's a couple people I gotta go unblock. <coughs> you know what, Mr. Fucker? So what y'all got going on today? How everybody doing? What's up on y'all Saturday? Y'all working, y'all smoking, y'all lazy, what's going on? What's up, PMG? <laughs> I said it was snowing hard, but still was getting ice cream. That's crazy. Oh, you actually snowed in. Is that bad, Mr. Fucker?
Now imagine what these two gonna do once they get a little bushier and I transplant them. I transplant them, they gonna go fucking crazy. That's what's up, Hanky Stanky. Where you from, Hanky Stanky? I got probably about a joint worth of weed mixed with some roast weed left. And I was only that because I found a blunt over by my damn tents this morning. I got to go get some weed. But my pocket kind of low, so I don't know if I'm about to go do that, though. I know I got to go buy some dog food. Got to feed my dog. Some of y'all was privileged enough to meet my dog yesterday. Are you in New York too? <laughs> Are you snowed in too? I'm really leaning to uh, taking them cuttings out of the deep water culture, sticking them in cubes, rooting them here, and putting them other ones in the deep water culture. But then I also want to set timers for the sprayers to run. And I don't think that they even need the sprayers with the deep water culture because it bubbles up into the, to the, uh, the, the, the baskets. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> only reason I would need the sprayers or the uh, drippers because they're not even sprayers is if the root the water got low to the point the roots was hanging and had to reach the reservoir I'm not sure which way to run that I want them to be able to dry out some and they in rock with cubes so I don't know if I should let them keep running through the roots or let it dry out. I know that either way they're not going to dry out because the deep water culture is still hitting them from the bottom with the air stones in there. Oh yeah, I love me some roach weed. How far are y'all away from each other, uh, Hanky Stanky and Mr. Fucker? I should make my daughters make me some oatmeal. I'm hungry. Are you hungry, honey? So, Hanky Stanky must be more um, south, south New York if he getting rain. Because you by Canada, of course, you get snow. But if he getting rain, he down, he down the southern part of New York. You in the city, you in the hood. So, I don't know exactly where Brooklyn is, but it's farther away from where Mr. Mr. Fucker is. Mr. Fucker said he snowed in.
Okay, I don't know where that is. But it sounds like it's the country part of New York. Sound like you living on the estate. <laughs> tell y'all I go to this dispensary to buy these I used to sell carts until I fell out with my weed connect with my partner and uh, when I asked about the carts that I buy like this is an indica cart and they always try to sell you the sativas or the hybrids so when I asked for into the cart they eyes get big like you want an indica cart you know what I'm saying and they go to a special area to go get those. Like, they don't even try to push them. And I love them. And I swear that they don't try to sell these motherfuckers. Cause I guess they think they super strong. Which they are. But I'd rather have this than the sativa. Or the hybrid. Like, every time I get, like, instruct them what I want. And I know they got it. Their eyes get big. Every time. Damn, I'm looking at how much oil is up in the mouthpiece. I love flowers too uh but i do like that uh mac one is in there that i didn't get no clones uh but i might try to re-veg one of those um if i like it i don't know i don't think i'm gonna like it like the way it smells is i don't know but it's oily and i almost want to get that and make some bubble hash and then press it because it's oily as hell like it's like feel like oil when you swipe one of the leaves or anything on it it's oily 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 well this one is indica this one get me blow like blow, like eyes open, uh, eyebrow, uh, forehead wrinkled up, blow. That's crazy, my right hand man named Hank, if it was him in the chat, he, he wouldn't say shit either. What I miss on that, Piff? You talking to somebody I can't see? <coughs> you know, I'm about to go to Field Oily 8. That uh, white once. I'm going to take some of the leaves off of that. This one here. I just want to take a couple.
you can definitely go where you at. Y'all think about that one. <laughs> so many blood sites. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. I tell you, it's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. It's very pretty. And that's crazy because I see shit way down in here. Is that, is that, oh, that's all that limb. Damn, okay, we're gonna let that be. Let's get rid of that there right there. Ooh, just took this leaf here. Then I want to get rid of these little suckers down here. Oh shit, I'm turned sideways. I'll leave, I'll leave. Damn, that's a, that was a node growing off of that limb that split off and stood up. And now it's gonna grow better. Everything getting light now. Yeah. I don't think I need to pull no more off of there right now. I think it's gonna be nice. Yeah, buddy. Gotta clean up this white powder peats out on this. Oh, the snow. <laughs> I'm like, damn, fucker, that's how it is. But he, I forgot he snowed in. I said the same shit yesterday on Hamilton's Grow. <laughs> Peace out, fucker. Be blast, baby. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. So it's eating off itself. I kind of want to let them stay, but I'm, on, I'm about to hit it with a tea tomorrow or the next day. But the quicker the souls die out and get out the way, the more light penetration I get. that do I want to clone that I might take that for a clone and try to monster crop it we'll leave it there until I'm ready to get it I can't even get to shit in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah, you can stand up for a while. Where you even come from? That's crazy. I didn't think you was that damn long. That was crazy.
pull you up here so the other light needs to get some light right about now. Okay. What else is in the way? Ooh, this one I can pull down here. You know, I shift these little nugs every once in a while just so shit can get different light and get different strength. And now I just see it's more and more shit over there that's low low laying down that needs some love like that there and now this one here that's strong as hell it can come back out there like that there and then this here well i need that like that but all these little suckers i see now one up for a minute let it get some different light this one here pull it up for a minute that plant look completely different now look at that there would you just look at that would you just look so we'll keep on fucking with it a little bit more 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 now we can stay where it is for right now here and that right there oh that's a pretty little motherfucking boy i see you over there straggling this one right here there you go <laughs> that motherfucker don't know what he want to do it's got shit all over the place that's crazy now I need to defoliate it again. This one here I want to pull up. Where is it coming from now? So let's pull it up like this here. Then put you back where you was at. And then I'll let them stripping up and I'll pop them back and they'll be here. some shit. I'll pop them back out tomorrow and they'll be strong. Manipulation, manipulation. 
maybe I can scoot it over and get one more square section. Maybe. I'll scoop this over this way. I can shift things back and forth to put that one here and put that one there. This is a wedding cake. This is a seed from a bag of stuff from the dispensary, pretty much. Um, this is uh, white runs. Now this clone and this clone the same age as the clones over here. They all was all the same six that I originally bought that was fucked up. They were skinny and puny. Then I retrained and brought them back. That's a seedling that I grew, and the first one in the first tent was a seedling. Everything else is clones from either this, 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 or all clones off. Everything I got over there, no, I got some more seedlings, new, new strands too, different seedlings. But this is a wedding cake, which is the two that's in the back of the tent that's almost done. And that's a seedling that I ain't grew yet, but I got three clones vegging of it right now. And I got a clone of this over there, which is the white runs. But this one I originally had trained to be flat. And when I put it in bloom, shit took off in different directions. And now I'm trying to figure out how to manage it <clears throat> without having to cut a bunch of it off and without end up with a whole bunch of bullshit. So I pull everything up so they easily get stronger standing this way and I can pop them out that way and they'll be standing up more and then leaning all the way to the where they was at the bottom. And I done did it a couple of times to a couple of different limbs and they got stronger. So I'm thinking right now if I should scoot the whole plant over so I can switch the ones that's in here that's already kind of long they can sit here so I can get room for the ones that need to sit here without forcing them to be linked over. But like this one's already gonna be stronger in the next day or two, growing straight up. And it also helps so that the shit that wasn't getting light up there, it's getting light now. And it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. So, damn, I can pull that up like that if I want to. That's crazy. And then it makes me have to move some more leaves. That one fell off with no effort. <gasps> oh, I just broke that. God damn it. Let me leave that alone. I don't know why I broke it with my KPS. I shouldn't have broke it. The fuck where to break it at? Ooh wee. I don't even know where I broke it. I know I broke it. Oh there. Oh, uh, in a fix. It's, 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 it's in a good place. But I know I need it long, leave it long, try to get some tape for it. Some bitch. That's not funny, people. I mean, I can lose one limb off of there. I take that whole limb off before I let a little sucker bud stay on there at the bottom. But I did break it. I didn't even know that I could break them limbs. I've been flip-flopping the shit out that plant. That just broke with no effort. Ooh-wee. I gotta put some tape on it. I almost like how it sits now though. I almost want to bring this one up. I'm scared to mess with that something now. Uh, let it grow like that. Yeah. And just do a good defoliation. But I do see shit down here that I never, never, never. Well, that one might, but this ain't down here. It's a lot of shit I gotta clean up off of that motherfucker. 
I wouldn't have seen if I didn't just do all that shit. I wonder if I got to water this because that one's looking kind of droopy again and I can't check it. No, it's still wet. Maybe I need to do a defoliation on you too. shit covered up over there. Yeah. I don't think I need to worry about nothing else. Might as well take this one. And this one. When they wet, they be standing straight up when they not droopy. Like that one there. But that one's for that plant. That's good. That's good for now. Nobody saying nothing. All right. I guess I'm about to end this live, people. I appreciate y'all. I said to y'all what's going on at uh, week six in that room. This is week five. This is week four. And this is week three. Yep. That's how it goes. And that's crazy because these buds knocking those buds in the head almost these are too and that's a seed man it's just tight and dense but they go through a lot of shit so we're going to see what it looks like in the next two or three weeks versus what these going to look like because these look like they farther along than that one down there <clears throat> we going to see we going to see Y'all be safe. Have a blessed day. I'll let y'all tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a freestyle. Maybe later I'll do a freestyle. Maybe later and tomorrow. I don't know. But y'all have a blessed day. Y'all be safe. Enjoy your weekend. Peace out.